Hey guys, um, so we have uh, come across the different aspects of uh, English language teaching in general as well as uh, acquire the language acquisition methods uh, and the difference between language acquisition and uh, language learning in general and uh, additionally we have understood the difference between English um, as a second language and English as a foreign language uh, or how it's been uh, distinguished across uh, the you know english speaking world or how it's been uh, you know uh, calculated and uh, categorized by the english language learners and english language teachers so well um, we'll have a look into uh, the different methods of uh, english language teaching now so as you might have understood that uh, you know english language teaching is the general term or the umbrella term for uh, teaching English to speakers of other languages and teaching English to you know uh, foreign migrants the refugees and all and uh, um, since you have uh, completed uh, some of uh, the assignments uh, related to the barriers and challenges uh, or the obstacles that are faced by the English language learners especially the uh, language learners, uh, uh, those who are the refugees and migrants, the illegal migrants, the so-called illegal migrants uh, in Europe and other parts of the world. So you might have understood uh, the barriers, like, you know, uh, you have uh, in front of you the, the language rules, you have in front of the, the, the problems that are faced by those people related to pronunciation vocabulary and uh, related on those kinds of things which are related to uh, language so in order to overcome all these aspects and uh, problems or the challenges the english language teachers um, well they have formulated and uh, you know hypothesized some kinds of uh, you know methods and approaches in order to you know effectively uh, create a sense of uh, understanding or sense of uh, uh, language English language uh, for uh, the speakers of other languages or the foreign language uh, learners so um, uh, among that the you know, there are many different methods uh, in which uh, teachers have uh, formulated uh, the ways in which they can approach the language learners, the general English language learners. So among that, we have uh, the, 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 the prominent among uh, the language teaching methodology is uh, direct method, or it's otherwise called the natural method. So let's have a look into what exactly is uh, the direct method in uh, language teaching it's kind of you know understanding uh, uh, language in the most uh, natural way in order to uh, you know acquire a language as we have discussed before in order to acquire a language you need to first uh, find out or set up or you know uh, to build up a, a environment a situation circumstances of uh, uh, understanding uh, that language you should have uh, people you know approaching you in the same language uh, you should have a fair bit of environment in which you can uh, express your own thoughts and ideas and the, the kind of discussions which are being made uh, within the four walls of the classroom in that language when we speak of English in English language of course yeah and in that case uh, the direct method uh, you know, it helps a lot in order to acquire uh, English language. It uh, basically uh, gives you a chance, an understanding to, you know, better articulate, better articulation of, of English language. Or in that case, you know, the teachers or the language trainers specifically ask you to and express yourself only in that uh, language or English language here it's otherwise called the target language you know the target language in the sense that you know 
the learners are here in front of you in order to understand or in order to you know uh, you know make themselves aware of you know using that language in the most you know not in the kind of native uh, speaker style but still it's you know in, in, in a kind of you know neutral uh, style of uh, you know creation of accents and all so in that case the teachers and the trainers will only uh, ask yourself to speak out in the target language here in the case of english especially so and not just that the, the learner is actually and absolutely restricted uh, to you know speak out or express um, in the mother tongue or the 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 l1 fact we say so as we mentioned before as we discussed before you know the the interference of l1 the interference of uh, your mother tongue is a serious problem in a serious challenge in the case of acquiring a foreign language so in this case uh, and that is why the uh, the teachers or the trainers are requesting or restricting yourself uh, to you know not to speak in uh, uh, your mother tongue so uh, the the importance as well as the the, the key feature of uh, the direct method is that uh, the students or the learners are not or restricted to use uh, the the rules and regulations of the language especially uh, the grammatical part of language so no grammar basically no grammar in uh, the direct language so here uh, you might wonder how it works without grammar but when you you know when you have uh, the atmosphere or the environment in which you can speak how you can understand language you can listen to certain you know topics in uh, english language uh, you will definitely feel to you know express how you articulate uh, in uh, english language in the most you know natural way so you know, why grammar is avoided uh, it's kind of you know grammar is grammar definitely restricts you to speak or think in uh, the proper uh, the sense of language so and that is why language or grammar part in, in language is avoided in uh, the direct or the or the the natural uh, method of english language teaching so when you avoid uh, the grammatical part in uh, um, english language in the direct method what will happen is that you will give uh, more stress or more emphasis on uh, on uh, the right pronunciation when you have the right pronunciation when you have the correct accent in front of you uh, when you are able to articulate uh, the correct pronunciation of a word of the language in general you will definitely be able to speak out uh, the, the 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 correct sentences the the creation sentences will be very easy for you and uh, and since you have a, a a pure bit of environment in front of you to uh, to express yourself you to express your thoughts and ideas in front of you then definitely definitely it will be very easy for you to uh, you know express uh, the ideas in uh, english language and that's the case for the migrants and refugees as well so uh, the, the, there are some of the features which uh, i should also mention um, uh, when when you talk about uh, the uh, the direct method or the natural method in in uh, the direct method actually the teachers use a lot of conceptual teaching methodologies teaching concepts rather than you know teaching the rules and regulations you know how to express you know how to define or how to you know think in english language has been uh, uh, really um, well uh, taught in, in direct method so teaching concepts and vocabulary and that too using a lot of you know pantomimes imitating things in like especially uh, you have to talk about a lot of, of uh, your real life incidents and real life stories like that plus additionally you have um, things like you know the visual materials and uh, audio visual inputs are also there when it comes to understanding the concepts of language learning it's kind of you know indirectly the teachers are creating indirectly uh, what we call a situation creation 
creating the situation in an indirect manner. That's what we can say about the direct teaching methodology. Well, then the uh, you know the visual materials and the situation creation will definitely you know overcome the barriers, the overcome the the stage fright in front of you to express yourself in English language. You know, it's kind of you know as uh, we have discussed, it's kind of you know creating the situation indirectly. So that will make uh, the the learners accept the situation and they can easily you know endure themselves in um, speaking or in the, the best possible manner and another thing that you should understand about uh, the direct method of english language teaching is that uh, grammar has been taught but it's kind of you know uh, in in it in self correction or self understanding or self learning methodology or otherwise it's called the inductive approach in uh, uh, language learning so teaching grammar using inductive approach is also an essential part of direct learning inductive in the sense that you will have uh, to express yourself in the correct manner uh, when uh, the, uh, the the situation demands to express that express your thoughts so when you have the situation in front of you when you have the environment in front of you to speak to you, speak out in the english language to express the pronunciation to articulate the pronunciation of a word in the correct manner then uh, definitely you will do it so the learners will be able to um, express their thoughts and ideas in uh, the right manner using uh, the the best possible grammar in which uh, they have acquired not learned uh, that's the difference here and not just that when you have uh, the audiovisual materials in front of you you'll have to listen and uh, uh, try to imitate the the pronunciation which have been which has been uh, formulated or which has been uh, uh, used by the uh, native language speakers so when you try to you know copy or pantomime the the native language speakers your language the teacher will definitely ask you to uh, express yourself in uh, uh, the neutral accent not not kind of copying because copying uh, will uh, create a lot of mess instead of uh, understanding it properly so uh, native like pronunciation in the sense that uh, the target language is used that's the first thing and no translation will be there from your brain that means thinking in that target language itself and a lot of oral training oral training will be also there so uh, the L l2 or language 2 which is the target language um, should be the, the basics of uh, uh, the direct method the basic of direct method is actually that a learner should understand or feel or they should experience l2 or the foreign language here in the case of english uh, as l1 itself so it should be as equal to it should be treated as equal to your l1 so those are some of the key features of uh, uh, the direct method or the natural method in which uh, the English language is being taught uh, worldwide, which is actually, uh, this is actually, you know, uh, formulated uh, on the sense that, you know, it improves the fluency of speech. So people can think and speak out in uh, English language, which definitely will, uh, you know, improve the fluency um, of the speech results. Uh, and uh, not just that, it is also much easier for the learners to write English uh, in the easier or, you know, the standard uh, format. So besides, it's also, it also helps uh, to expand uh, the vocabulary of uh, the language learner. Uh, it also uh, Im improves your uh, reading skills. It also improves the development of language sense as well. Because, you know, you have a lot of activities in between. You have a lot of activities. It's kind of, you know, uh, experiential learning. You'll have uh, a lot of, you know, activity-based or activity-oriented uh, learning uh, take, taking place in uh, the direct natural method of uh, language learning. Um, you know, 
since you have uh, the situation creation and uh, you have uh, in front of you uh, the environment in which people are speaking a lot of English over and over again, what will happen is that you will naturally develop uh, your listening, uh, speaking and reading skills. That's also one way, uh, you know, one effective way of uh, understanding uh, a foreign language. So basically uh, the natural method or the direct method is uh, the, the best in uh, uh, English language teaching uh, as per uh, researchers in English language teaching or ELT in general. Uh, not just that, another thing you have to understand is that, you know, you, as we have discussed before, your brain has got a lot of passive vocabularies which has been f fed uh, over the years, um, which is passive, which is not dead, but still it is silently sleeping there inside your brain. So when you get a chance to express yourselves, oh, you will definitely try to, you know, bring out those passive uh, words, those passive vocabulary which has been uh, sleeping over the years into active vocabulary. So your brain will work, that's an advantage, your brain will work a lot, you will try to uh, acquire the language in the proper natural manner, you know, you'll get a chance to articulate to the words in the correct, uh, the correct, uh, you know, sp using the correct speech sounds and all, and uh, you will definitely avoid uh, the stage fright, uh, your, uh, you know, your exhaustion in front of you to speak out in uh, a foreign language. That's also an advantage of uh, using the direct uh, method or the natural, the natural method of English language teaching. Uh, additionally, there is another thing that we should understand is that there are a lot of demerits also in the case of direct method. Uh, why is it so? Is that the 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 most important thing as per language teachers is that the, the traditional type of language teachers is that, you know, uh, they say that or they always support the uh, language learning methodology in which you have to give a lot of you know, importance to grammar and rules, the form. But here, uh, when you take into, you know, take uh, the, ex the example of uh, direct methodology, the direct method or the nat natural method, you will uh, have to uh, acquire the language without grammar. You don't need to follow the grammar. You don't need to learn grammar for the for the better understanding of grammar. But in, instead, what you are doing is that you'll naturally learn grammar, naturally acquire grammar, naturally cop with cop with the grammar sense, and you will you will use it in the most natural way, which is considered as a demerit of uh, the direct method. It, because it not just it just it just ignores the systematic uh, approach of language. That's one of the demerits of uh, direct method, as per the traditional uh, teachers of English language. Another thing that they uh, oppose about uh, that they object the methodology of direct method is that in direct method you don't have for the systematic approach of writing and reading. Uh, instead, uh, writing also comes should come naturally here in uh, the direct method, and even in reading also, you have to go through a book uh, without even referring to the dictionary and all really, because you need to understand the, uh, the the meaning of a word without using the dictionary in the sense that you will uh, follow this entire sentence and w while you, you know, come up with you, while you meet while you uh, while you face a. Uh, a different word in between uh, a difficult word of uh, not of your understanding what will happen is that you will definitely refer to dictionary in the normal case but here you will have to understand yourself the meaning of that word will naturally comes to you which it has to come to you in the most natural uh, way Sim similarly as in the case of uh, understanding uh, your L1 or your target, uh, the, your mother tongue. That is another demerit uh, in which the language teachers are not uh, you know, supporting, why they are not supporting the direct method. And uh, it uh, there is another thing uh, which that uh, the teachers are saying is that uh, uh, it needs skilled teachers. 
that's an important thing the demerits of uh, uh, direct method is that it needs skilled teachers someone who is trained um, in teaching speakers of other languages teaching english to speakers of other languages is a must in the case of uh, you know the direct method because you know when it comes to or if you take an example take the example of uh, indian teachers uh, the the problem is that or in, not just indian the asian south asian teachers or uh, the non native uh, speakers non native teachers of english language uh, basically what they lack is that they are lacking the neutral kind of approach the neutral uh, accent so in that case um, if they are not skilled enough to you know articulate not skilled enough to express their thoughts not skilled enough to you know use the methodologies and approaches in the systematic manner uh, the direct methodology will never uh, you know uh, come out in flying color colors why is it so is that uh, the teachers will uh, go definitely to the traditional system when you have the curriculum in front of you when you have the syllabus in front of you they will uh, never go through the curriculum they will never go to the syllabus and the structure of the lesson plans and all um, in order to teach the learners or you know share their knowledge with the learners uh, which has been uh, as per which has been uh, as per the the natural method the direct method so that's uh, the demerit of uh, one of the demerits definitely one of the demerits of uh, the uh, direct method or the natural method of english language teaching and another thing is that uh, it supports only limited vocabulary but i don't think so so it um, it supports only limited vocabulary in the sense that they have the a lot of passive vocabulary which has been fed inside your brain for a long time and that uh, uh, vocabulary should be uh, and it, it has to come out and it has to you know transform into your active vocabulary it has to take part in your active uh, communication mode so there is an advantage in a sense uh, so we cannot consider it as a demerit though it's been considered by the teachers as uh, or the language trainers as a demerit so those are some of the things that i wanted to discuss with you about the direct method of, of english language teaching or the natural method of english language teaching hope you understood some some basics about uh, uh, the direct method it's nothing but the natural method you know you, in which you have uh, a situation creation in front of you you have you'll have to you know adapt to uh, the new environment uh, it, there is a chance that you might be sitting inside uh, four walls of a classroom or four walls of a, of, of a conference room and uh, speak out loudly you know express yourself uh, to as in the case that you are in one of the uh you know uh, first language one of the uh, english speaking countries so that's an advantage in the sense that most natural method of understanding english is the direct method so uh, let's see how it works with you as well so uh, it's better if you can also think in uh, english language and to come up with uh, uh, fresh new ideas about uh, you know the direct methodology or the the new methods in which uh, language learners can acquire uh, a foreign language in this in our case it's english language so uh, thank you so much and uh, let's have uh, more details we'll have we'll look into more details of uh, language teaching and uh, the different methods and approaches in english language in our later sessions thank you so much